you're new here, my name is Marina, and I do I'm Shane. I do trailer park living in a. I do mobile home living yeah, in a trailer. I'm here trailer park, park living. <sighs> I do mobile home hey, living in a trailer up? park in Tennessee. <laughs> so today we're working in our little bathroom. Now y'all know that our little bathroom has been through the ringer. Um, here in a minute I'll show you the vanity. It's been through many a DIY project. Um, it's, it's been experimented on. All the things. I have done two bathroom makeovers in this bathroom but the first one was a very very affordable makeover i kind of just flew by the seat of my pants in that one and did what i could and then the second one i did a zero dollar challenge so i worked with things i already had what i did in the second makeover is i took some old wood like extra wood that i had stained it and kind of framed out the like windows and the mirror like with what i could and then i repurposed this uh wallpaper this wallpaper was in my dining room and shane and i carefully removed it from my dining room and carried it very carefully in here and reapplied it and it has stuck y'all i was wondering because of the moisture in here and you know the fog like the steamy showers and stuff i was wondering if it would stick or if it would come loose and it has stuck for almost a year i guess this bathroom has given us a lot of problems not just with decor but like with leaks um as you can see up here we had to replace a few shingles last year because we noticed that water was coming in through the light and through the fan. So the issue behind that has since been fixed, but we still need to like remud that and get it, you know, all those areas. Right here's another area. This side was super bad. I'm telling you, like we had like four leaks in less than like four months. It was a lot. Anyway, back to what we did with this with the zero dollar challenge. I, I had a challenge set aside to where I would spend nothing, so I used everything that I had, and I kind of got creative with the wood that we had left over, and we kind of just did like a whole frame type of thing. The floors were um, the flooring that I had throughout the rest of my house, but with this bathroom, this bathroom is unlevel. Underneath it is unlevel, and we're at some point we have to go in there and we have to fix it and we have to raise the floor on one end but that's something i don't think shane and i can do and if we can do it then it's something that we're gonna have to research before we do uh we can do a lot we can play around with a lot y'all like we can play around y'all can't even see this but look we can play around with a lot <laughs> but when it comes to foundational stuff like i i don't play around with that because i want my home to last a long time you know trailers already have the stigma that they die early you know they die an early death <laughs> So I want to prolong this as much as I can by taking care of it. So with things like that, I want it either professionally done or I want to go into it with the confidence that, hey, like I know what we're doing so we don't mess anything up that's, you know, could potentially be permanently messed up. So because this is a slanted floor and the right side of the bathroom goes down, I tried putting the flooring throughout that I have throughout the rest of my house down here, but it floated. So the I have the I think it's Treadmaster peel and stick vinyl floors or they're laminate. They're vinyl or laminate, I can't remember a bit. I have those throughout the rest of my house and I love them. They do great. They do move and float a little bit and slide. But, I mean, it's super cheap. It was a super cheap upgrade to the home, so I expected something like that. But in here, it is so bad that you can't even, when you walk on it, you feel yourself sliding. <laughs> it gives me, I already have vertigo, so I don't need that to add to it. So when I come in here, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like I got beer goggles on or something. <laughs> So instead of doing the floor that we have throughout the regular house in this bathroom, I bought a roll of laminate flooring, so a laminate rug that I'm going to lay down. Now, Ollie's had two choices. It was either dark woods, which would totally go opposite of my gray woods throughout my home, so I couldn't do that. My OCD just would not let me do that. So I went with, it's just like a very basic, simple, it almost looks like cement. I guess you could say like a certain stone, but it don't have the stone print. It's just like solid. It's a solid gray. So I went with that. It was very cheap. All these has very cheap options. Not a glass. It's just it has very cheap options for like flooring and stuff. Like they have pop and lock. They have peel and stick. They have the laminate rugs. They have all sorts of things. It's really good priced. So I think I, I bought mine for $19.99. 20 bucks. 
and that will definitely do this whole area I could even have more I'm sure to do the other bathroom if I wanted to and that may be something I do later because the bathroom in there itself it also is kind of uneven honestly the whole right side of my house is uneven but it's worse in the bathrooms for some reason the same as the last two bathroom updates I'm not going in here and spending a fortune it's very realistic very affordable I'm using secondhand stuff my nanny gave me an old vanity that's like I think it's like 15 or 16 years old probably no it's like 20 years old it's like 20 25 years old um i'm gonna use it and and just like revamp it and then as far as the decor and stuff i also got a lot of it at ollie's at like discount stores i didn't go hobby lobby or anything like this i wanted to keep it affordable the main thing that costed money was the shiplap we're going to do on the wall we're continuing my little theme of the wood shiplap that i have throughout my dining room we're continuing that throughout the house so that's going to be a focal point of this room and then the rest of it is really just going to kind of be like going to be basically trailer park chip and joanna because that's what we're all about and that's okay you don't have to go spend a fortune to make an area in your house a home if you get anything from my videos other than jesus loves you because <laughs> that's first and foremost you gotta know jesus loves you if you watch my videos if you get anything else from my videos though i want you to get that you don't have to keep up with the joneses who's the joneses we don't even know any joneses you ain't gotta keep up with the joneses you can go places like discount stores or secondhand stores and get beautiful things like y'all make someone else's trash your treasure you can do that I do it all the time I want you to leave here knowing that you can do that and your house is going to be beautiful because the most beautiful thing in your home is your family is your heart is your love is your moments your memories that's what we're going for we're just making this look pretty because it's a hobby of mine. <laughs> so that's what I want you to get from my videos. But we're going to get in here. I've already degreased these floors because I know with the flooring that we're going to use, we're not using adhesive because I don't trust me and Shane with adhesive. <laughs> but we are using adhesive strips, like tape strips to lay down the flooring. I'm a little bit nervous about taking out the vanity because we've never done something like that before. But there are plenty of things that we've never done before and it has turned out just fine. So positive thinking caps on <laughs> this vanity. <laughs> <laughs> has been through so much we got a side over here it's got like two personalities this is the i was farmhouse but now i'm antique i've been put through the ringer um it probably has made a country song about me treating it wrong <laughs> and then this side over here is a mint green and brown um i don't know it looks like a uh, mint chocolate chip mint chocolate chip ice cream and over here is an old antiqued out <laughs> by accident <laughs> country song singing uh vanity <laughs> this thing this countertop has had um peel and stick look like it just you can run your finger across it and it peels um it's had peel and stick countertop on it <laughs> it has had mod podge i mod podged um that foamy stuff that you put in the bottom of your drawers not the peel and stick it doesn't have a sticky bottom it's like that foam stuff i my first video i think my first video one of my first videos was me doing that i used that and mod posh it to this <laughs> um i've painted it white i've done the granite on it the faux granite that everybody does with the acrylic paints <sighs> i've done the faux wood that i have in my uh on my island right now there's so many things I've done to this thing and it is just in, it's in pitiful shape. It wasn't in the best of shape before I did all those things to it. Um, it's definitely not in the best of shape now. It's very textured. It's a very, uh, we're going to go for a trailer antique type of thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a very uh, unique piece. <laughs> And then uh, we're probably going to have to raise this because the new vanity, I hope the new vanity fits. I haven't even measured it yet. So let's hope it fits. But we're going to have to raise this because the vanity does come up higher. So we'll have to end up raising this if we keep that like that. Over here um, is what I did whenever I added the woodwork around the mirror and the window. I messed up and pulled some of the drywall off and I was like, oh, how can I fix it? You guys can see here. <laughs> Like, um, I was like, how can I fix it? And I just decided to do that. And it ended up looking like it was a part of it and supposed to be like that. Um, so those are little things. If you fudge up, don't worry. You can always fix it. And if not, it adds character. I don't know if I'll be keeping this right here. 
I've had that there ever since I got it. I got that TJ Maxx years ago and I like it. I just don't know if I want to do something more simple there. That creates chaos in this bathroom. There's toothbrushes are rarely, oh wow. Okay, look, like it was stuck. Oh, what is that? Oh my lanta. Goodness gracious. If I had a lick of sense, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> I don't. So, um, that, I think that's gonna go because I'll, I'll clean it off and see if one of my neighbors want it. Because it, you know, it's paid it to do. It has hung around with me for a while. Um, and, you know, it's taken my abuse because you can see there it hasn't been very well taken care of. So, we're probably gonna do something more simple on that end. Throw something over here. Ouch! How do you get a splinter off travel? Oh, it's a nail. Okay. Throw something simple up there. Just do it, but keeping it very simple, clean, nothing extravagant, but we are gonna transform the area. So let's get some before pictures to show you guys what we're working with. There's a long toilet paper roll down there. There's no one here beside me. But, but you gotta, gotta have friends. This uh, bathroom is so small. I feel like this is what the lamp, the inside of the lamp in Aladdin looks like. Because you remember how uh, Jeannie says, Beedy beedy living space. <laughs> I feel like, cause it, and he even, remember at one point when Aladdin rubs the lamp, he comes out scrubbing himself like he was in a bathtub. Yeah. Boom. He was in our bathroom. He was in our bathroom. <laughs> and I gotta start disconnecting stuff. That's gonna be fun. You got this. I believe in you. Listen, if you can do the woodworking stuff you do, I'm telling you, you can do this. You got this. See, I'm afraid that when we pull this out, this whole mirror is going to collapse because I can't remember if we actually hung that properly or not. But this, this looks like it came from 2089, and this was some YouTuber, farmhouse YouTuber's um, piece of decor, and the people in the spaceships go to their thrift stores. They probably don't call them thrift stores at that point. Maybe like used to haves or something like that. They go there and pick this up and say, oh, yeah, that was that time in history when all the YouTubers decorated a farmhouse. That's what I feel like they're going to say about that. Ooh, no, I can't preserve that, can I? What is it? It's got yucky stuff on it. I don't want to throw away nothing with Jesus' name on it. They green and it's only a box. My real name's in your heart. Ooh. I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the rain just fall. because well it probably does need painting it's not that it doesn't need painting but the color of gray goes perfect I think it's gonna go perfect with the color with the color of flooring and the color of vanity I chose so we're gonna leave this we may come in at some other point and touch it up with some paint we may do that but right now I'm not gonna do that because it's it's relatively in good shape I mean it does have some like holes in it from nails and screws and stuff but it's relatively in good shape. So we're gonna leave it. So just to update you guys on why I haven't been posting like I usually do, my brother just got out of prison. So I have been totally encompassed with him and trying to make his life easier and stuff. So that's where I've been. If you're on Instagram, you know that. But I just wanted to update you guys because I know it's not like me. Look at all them bugs, y'all. You think I've never cleaned or nothing? I actually don't think I've cleaned that since we've lived here like six years. The audacity. Y'all. Yeah, there's a little mouse that's been back here. 
I ain't seen, I've only seen one mouse since living here. They must have all been back here partying, because it looks like he has a little condominium set up. He's got his little tennis court, his little parking garage, there's a sticky trap turned upside down. The whole time we got Stuart Little living in our bathroom. <laughs> we didn't even know it. Freaking Stuart! Stuart, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? So this is the form that we're going to use. It kind of just looks like, I don't know, it's, it's not a solid color. It has some depth to it. Let me show you. I got to change out these light bulbs because um, they make it look really orange in here. But this is what it looks like. It was either this or dark hardwood floor. And I just personally couldn't do the dark hardwood with my gray hardwood throughout my house. So this will kind of, you know, I think this will look good. It wasn't my first choice, but it was the only choice I had at Ollie's, and I wasn't going to go spend a fortune on a roll at Lowe's. <laughs> so this will have to do. I'm pretty sure it will go with my decor, and it will also look pretty daggone clean, honestly. Whatever it is beats this stuff, which looks like it permanently has dookie in the cracks. Back to what I was saying forever ago. I know it's not like me not to post like that and keep you guys updated. I've just, it, it's been a process. It's a big adjustment. He was gone for several years. So it's really hard for me to get back into the groove of things. Also, I'm preparing for Vlogmas, y'all. So I've been super busy. getting the vent back in there because when they built this house y'all um they put the vent underneath the trim so you have to shimmy the vent cover like underneath the trim it's the oddest thing ever i'm telling you guys this this the way that this trailer is made it had to have been a show home or something it was not made it was not made for quality like to live in. There's no way. I'll see how it's like literally half of the vent cover is underneath the trim. We just changed those light bulbs and it already makes the world a difference. It's still, a, it's a mess in there. Waiting on Shane to come through the door with the vanity. You can tell here how different the grays are um, versus my Stone Harbor grays by Color Place. Can't remember what this is. Something pepper, I think. This one's color place as well, but this one's a blue tone. That one's a purple tone. I love my purple tone ones, but I, I like the blue tone in the bathroom. I have the Stone Harbor Grays in my other bathroom. I love it in the bathroom too, but I wanted something different in here. Um, and my laundry room is actually just a little bit of lighter version of this color. So my laundry room is kind of a weird gray too. nail gun it back on that's the thing about getting secondhand stuff you know sometimes it sometimes it breaks you just gotta fix it <laughs> even if i were to have to put a whole nother piece of wood here it would be way cheaper hopefully i won't have to but it'll be way cheaper than going and buying a whole new vanity okay so <laughs> y'all it's a it's a top i can't get my finger down through there hardly it's a top fit um and we've got to figure out something about this it is overlapping the trim here but at least it's not too big entirely right I am a little bit concerned about the top of it. I don't know how high it'll sit. I'm just here to say that I have said we need to take down the wallpaper right what there. What is the point of taking down the wallpaper if we're just covering it anyway? Just for like thoroughness. So, thoroughness we're not taking down the what? wallpaper. And he is why, just know that. So when you say, Marina, why didn't you take off the wallpaper? Cause Shane. Thor It's 
The piece that goes down here, I'm gonna cut it. The the piece that goes to the frame, I'm gonna cut it so it'll fit back where it's oh, supposed okay. to. So Shane got fancy. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> now I may still have to cut a little bit here. Okay. We'll have to wait and see. We'll see. It's mostly just to make sure it's gonna go in the way I want it to go in and it ain't gonna be mean. Going away down right. My mind's indifferent to know what's wrong or right. Her bite is bittersweet because I'm stuck between her lines. She silenced me with words that shouldn't be combined. Undertone, and if I'm thinking we're gonna correctly, call it gray. 
If I'm thinking correctly, it's literally the bottom of my porch. You guys know how I did that white and brown two-tone porch. I think it's what it is. Okay, so I'm using these. I didn't have to buy these because I already had them from whenever I did my first ever kitchen makeover on this channel. I went with these and then later on I changed them to the black round ones. So I kept these in case I would need them for anything else. So that saved me some money. Um, Shane's looking for screws for the other one because this one only had one uh, knob on it. So we're looking for some screws for the other one. Then I'm gonna start decorating. If it's loud, I have the fan on and then I have the window raised right there. It's literally past midnight, so I'm trying to be quieter so I don't wake up my kids. But I am going to decorate a little bit for Christmas in here. I've never decorated for holidays in the bathroom. <laughs> but I see it done on YouTube a lot. So I was like, you know what? With the stuff that I got at Ollie's whenever I got the bathroom makeover stuff, um, I could just like throw some little things on here and, and make it look on the walls and on the counter. Make it look kind of, you know, Christmassy, festive to kind of flow with the rest of the house. I'm digging the color of the vanity. It is more gray in person than it's coming up on camera, but it's okay because it's a cool tone gray. So it kind of flows with the walls and the floor because the walls are cool tone, floors are cool tone. Um, so it kind of gives it dimension because it's a darker gray. The floors are a lighter gray and the walls are a medium gray. Somewhere in the middle, try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. All the future and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it Okay, so the rugs, the, not the rugs, the towels are from Ollie's. And then I got this at Ollie's as well as the towel holder. This was 11, I believe, and I can't remember how much this was, but it was relatively cheap. This is basically an Ollie's bathroom. I got this shower curtain from Ollie's. I also got a white one, but we put both of them up, and I like this one better. It's just the tone of gray goes really good with that gray and with the gray of the floors. So I like this one better than the white one. The white one just looked really generic. The uh, tongue and groove shift lap we got from Lowe's. You guys have seen me do that several times. This is a wreath from Hobby Lobby. It's for winter and then once winter is over, I'll put up probably a eucalyptus wreath. I really like that there though. This sign right here is from Ross. So everything in this makeover is bargain. <laughs> like it, it, we got it for a bargain. Um, I think I paid $7.99 for that, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I can't remember. But I love that saying because, I don't know, it just makes it feel warm and cozy in here. I was going to put it on the opposite wall and put the Let It Snow sign there and then change out the Let It Snow sign for every season. But I really like that there. And it's not pulling on camera um, how well it goes together with that wall and with that wreath. But I'm telling you, in person, this bathroom is its really pretty. I love it. This vanity was a hand-me-down. We still have to... So this is where we've been working on it because this is the old one from my old vanity. The new one, since this was a hand-me-down, it had a lot of lime in it, so it wasn't working. So we've got to go to Lowe's today and get one of those um, to put down in there. And I may go ahead and get a new one of these. I don't know yet. I kind of like that that is the same as that, as like these. So if I paint that uh, or if I get a black one, I'll have to paint these too, I feel like. 
Um, but there's still some things I want to do in here. I just really wanted to keep it very simple and budget friendly today. So I got this from Ollie's as well. This is a candle, but I'm not going to burn it because I love the way it looks. And it was $3.99. All the wood except for the shiplap itself was repurposed. I already had this paint. Cannot tell you what color it is because they didn't put the color of it on the uh like the tab so all i can tell you is it is a gray but it's very neutral undertone dark gray so in some lights it can almost look brown and in some lights it can almost look gray funny thing about this is after i painted it literally as soon as i got the paint on it and it dried shane walked in my bedroom and he found the right uh gray top paint but it's okay i like this if if for some reason I, I end up not liking it i'll change it but i really do like this i think it's really pretty the flooring is a linoleum rug from Ollie's and it's just a you can tell it has some texture it kind of looks like cement a little um it has some texture to it but it's very like just plain and I love that for bathroom floors because you know bathroom floors can get dirty got these rugs from Ollie's love these rugs I that one I almost didn't put down because spa I mean I guess we could have a trailer spa I don't know I originally bought the pack of them um, for that one alone and I was going to get a different one but I decided to put those because they kind of play off each other you know like they're very matchy matchy which isn't really my thing but I don't know it looks homey I think it's where this bathroom has been vacant for so long that I'll just take anything at this point but I am in love with it I love it did not spend a fortune on this not at all um I think all together it was because I had Shane how much uh how much shiplap did we already have? We only had to buy a couple of pieces of shiplap. How much is it a piece? Um, it's around 14 a piece, I believe. Okay, so those are around 14 a piece. So that right there, let's say 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80, 95. So we spent right at $100 because the linoleum rug was $19.99. So it's around $100 $110 is what we spent on this. I repurposed the handles on the cabinet. Um, that wreath, we already had it. I had it on my entryway. So when I get paid, I'm going to go back and get another one for my entryway. Um, that way I'll have three. I have one over my cat, uh, one over my pantry cabinet, one up here, and one uh, I'll have one over the entryway. We already had the stain that's it i mean that's 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 pretty daggone good for a very simplified yet very beautiful and like farmhousey bathroom i love it i wish last night i would have taken after pictures because in the dark you can really see the detail but with this little with that little window right there it makes it really hard to see the detail you know what i mean but it's very pretty very pretty let's see if i can get back here and get a a shot I am going to have to get a new toilet seat because we spilled a lot of stain on it and it looks like dookie. So I'll have to get a new toilet seat. But other than that and the piece in the sink, it's done for right now. Um, I will have to get some more of this paint or a paint similar to it to kind of touch up around the vanity. But other than that, it's good. I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.